There you are. Yeah. It's okay. I'm just finishing up here. Oh, you looking a little rough there. Mm. Something wrong with your lower jaw, right? All right. Well, give me a second here to just finish my notes and then I'm going to give you a good check through. So you are correct. Okay, thank you. Let me pull up your information here. You are Debbie's patient usually, correct? Okay, good. I thought so. She sent your information over for me here. So you called in um, to come in for the emergency uh, evening clinic as you have damaged, you think, some of your teeth, your lower jaw. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Uh, have you gone to a hospital or anything first to get that jaw checked out? No. Okay. You're more worried about your teeth. Okay. Okay. And what were you, were you doing anything that had caused this accident? Um, is this a condition you already had that's just worsened? Hmm. Well, that makes sense. As long as you weren't trying to hunt and eat humans in broad daylight. No. Okay. As long as you're following all the laws. But definitely we're eating it incorrectly or something. Couldn't you just open your mouth a little bit? Mm. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. So tell me a bit more about that. Okay, so you were born with a slightly lopsided jaw already. Oh, right. But what I can see of your teeth here, or what little is left on the bottom here, there's been quite a bit of damage. Did anything in particular happen on this hunt, or was it just a bit down the wrong way, something happened? Oh. Ran into a tree as well, I see. All right, face first, oh boy. Okay. Well, what I think we're gonna do today, and I'll be sure to send all this info to your original dentist later, because I also want you to go get a regular inspection in a couple of days with them. But what we're going to do is I'm going to go right in now, do a whole inspection and figure out fully what you've got going on here. And then after that, um, most likely we're going to have to do a cleaning of your mouth. We're going to have to see if any teeth are going to have to be removed or filed down. Uh, see what ones exactly are missing and then maybe try to um, just do a regular teeth cleaning um, and assess from there whether we're gonna have to send you and book you for a proper surgery uh, to get some of their teeth replaced um, or as well we're gonna check that there's no damage just to your lower jaw or gums here So first off, for the inspection, put my gloves on here. We're gonna see what we're working with. So I'm just gonna have you, I know it might be painful, but to open your mouth as wide as possible, right? If it's too strenuous, if you're having too many issues with it, please let me know when I can get you to close your mouth and have a break, okay? Alright, I see. Oh, yeah. Mm. So I see you still have your two front canines here. Your front and, let me see, your upper gums and teeth. 
actually don't look too bad. They might need to be cleaned up a bit, but from what I can see at the moment, there's not really any damage to the top, so most of it must have been your lower jaw, huh? Mm. Okay. For sure. And from what I saw in your file, it's pretty standard for you to just have those two prominent canines, right? There's not much more in terms of teeth on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, that's pretty typical for your kind, so that's not a worry. But if you could lift your head, uh, sorry, down, not up a little bit for me. I'm gonna pull down your lip here. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty rough. So I can see here that you've got one, two, three teeth only left on your bottom jaw. Yeah, that's it. Unfortunately, I'm assuming you had from the file a pretty full set of teeth. At least from the last time you were in. You've lost almost all of them, unfortunately. How does your gum feel as I touch around your teeth and everything here? Sore, for sure. What would you rate it out of 1 to 10? 1 being the least painful, 10 being the most painful. Okay. So not awful, but not great either. Your jaw, I think with that um, situation you already had, makes it look a lot worse than it is. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so your jaw definitely leans lower into the right side, with your left being a little higher than is typical. And from your file, it seemed like you used to have about 15 teeth on your lower jaw, but now with those three, you've lost basically all of them. Mm -hmm. And this one right in the center here looks quite chipped and shorter than the other two, 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 two that I've got going on there. Hmm. Unfortunately. Okay. Well, I'm just going to get my light here to make sure that I can do a proper check. I'm sorry if it's going to be a bit bright. Just close your eyes if you need to. Good. I just want to make sure if you open your mouth as wide as possible or as is comfortable. Seeing if you have any damage to uh, the inner parts of your mouth, inside your cheeks, your throat, etc. Mm. Yeah, the sides and the back of your teeth as well. Yeah. Hmm. Your mouth is looking really messy, but it, it looks worse than it is. It's really just those missing teeth that are upsetting. There's definitely the little uh, crevices where your teeth were. Mm -hmm. Okay. Could you, are you able to move your tongue around? Let me see. Good. And stick to the roof of your mouth. Good. And to the left. And to the right. And as low as you can, touching the bottom of your back, the back of your bottom teeth. <laughs> there we go. Good. Okay. You can go back to normal there. So, I think our first uh, step, like I said, is we're going to do a good cleaning. And then I'm going to go through and pick out your teeth. Um, I'm unsure if I might have to remove this middle one. I don't want to have to if I can avoid it, but... It's so chipped on the top, I'm not really sure um, how much it's actually in. We just need to do that cleanup first, and then we'll see. All right, so I've got two different objects here to clean your teeth. We're going to start with this. Sponge here. And I'm going to go through and just soak up any of the gunk, any, that tree bark or anything that's been stuck between your teeth, any water, fluids, things like that. Just try to pad around your teeth, okay? Just 
just very gently and then let me know again if there's any issues. Doing some extra cleaning around the chip one in the middle here. And just a little bit. Close your jaw now for me and just try to eat with whatever teeth you have so I can just kind of see it all together and kind of get everything up all the way down. Good. Thank you. You can just relax your jaw now. Good. Take a bit of a breather. So from what I could see, like I was saying, it was just as I thought, uh, after doing that bit of a cleanup, your damage is not as worse as uh, it could be. Uh, you've got that chip on that front tooth that unfortunately lost all those teeth, which is going to be the biggest problem that we're probably going to have to send you into surgery for in the next couple weeks to get um, some replacements. But other than that, your top canines, that are your most powerful teeth, I'm assuming for hunting and thing, are perfectly intact. Um, your two here that are left on the sides as well uh, seem to have next to no damage on them. There's a little bit of scrapes here and there, but nothing uh, that is in need of instant ah. Uh, repair. Hmm. But what I am going to have to do, because I've noticed kind of at the backs of your teeth here and kind of in between, you've got pieces of like tree bark, different just little tiny fragments of objects, which I don't want to leave behind because I would be worried that they would cause an infection, um, cause uh, uh, more divots in between your teeth, so kind of cause more caving in around the teeth into the gums that either could again cause infection or just um, cause general soreness, pain, and even loosen those teeth there. So we're going to do that and then we're going to finish off with my one handy dandy brush here that's going to get a really good scrub on those teeth and gum line. All right, my dear. 
got these two, two, two long pointed but kind of scary looking um, little grabbers that are going to help pick out, pick out, pick out, pick out these little pieces stuck in your teeth. Um, while I said they were scary, it's just because they're really long and a little pointed, but they're not going to cause any further damage to your teeth, right? Mm -hmm. But again, please let me know if there's any pain or anything happening. Right? You can always take a break. Alright, good. Open. Thank you. We're going to start down here. Some things are already trying to stick into your gum line, so I'm just going to pick, pick, pick it out. Really. Oh, good. Yes. <laughs> Threw it out there. Good. Okay. Some on both sides of your chip tooth there. Good, and then you got some on the first. And reach in. Some in there. Good. Those left. Excellent. Okay. There's some red around the tooth here, showing some irritation in the gum line, but obviously that is going to happen. Especially with the amount of damage you've done. But, okay. There's one behind this kind of big lower tooth here. Just gonna chip, 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 chip that in. Get it from this side here and this side. Ah. Sorry, can you turn a little bit to the left? Thank you. Good. Oh, that's a big piece. Put that down there in my tray. Good. I, oh, no. It's not good, actually. I missed a piece on the side here. Hold on. It's a little bit farther back. back towards me. Yep, straight on. Thank you. I'm going to check if it's really uncomfortable. Let me know, but I'm going to reach in kind of to the side of your tongue here, okay? Just scraping away this piece that's kind of almost like a splinter that's trying to embed itself into the side of your right cheek there. Very gently. Scrape it up. I'm sorry. It's not the most comfortable. Okay. Ah, good there. Okay, cool. Almost got it. Decent splinter for sure. That definitely looks like a piece of maple wood or something. Did you try like just straight up biting into a tree? Did you fall? You'll freeze first, right? Oh, sorry. Can't speak with things in your mouth. Oh, okay. You went to grab them, take a bite. Face first in the tree. I see. That would definitely do it. Sorry, there's another little bit I noticed further up here. I need to grab. Good. Into the tree we go. And can you just turn to the right a little bit so I can just, sorry, open your gums here a bit more and check. Good. All gone. Excellent, excellent. Um, mm, mm, mm. so we go there, 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 good. Oh, I'm noticing a little bit at the top. A head up, please, looking up a little more towards the ceiling. Excellent, thank you. There's a piece stuck right, 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 
right in the middle. Good. Together. Good. This one. Sign your piece. Here. Bunch of stuff stuck in here, but is that like plaque a build up right there up here? It's been like that a long time. Mm, yeah. Well, to me, even if you don't remember, that's okay because to me it does look like some plaque build up. So I will remove this piece. When we do the brushing, I'll make sure to kind of get that extra bit of stuff in front and drill right off. One more at the back here. Scratch that out. Sorry if I jostle your head around at all. back down straight towards me. Good. Final check here for any like splinters or things. Mm. Okay. All right. Free of splinters there, my dear. Give me a moment. I'm going to get my little drill and just kind of scratch away at that plaque there before I do your final clean. Moment and rest, and then we'll finish up. Just gonna get my drill together here, so it's okay. You can go with your mouth. Got just a very mini drill here. here. Yeah, well, I hope you go and take it easy after this. <laughs> I think, unfortunately, we're going to have to get you on uh, human supplements for now. Mm. We have uh, kind of like an applesauce, um, and if that is not to your taste, we've got a more harder, almost like vitamin human vitamin gummy things, mm -hmm. that'll make sure you get enough of the nutrients that you need, um, but it's going to be a lot softer on your jaw, your teeth, particularly until that surgery is all done. Mm -hmm. All right, so give me a moment here. I'm going to reach in, open mouth, yeah. I'm going to lift your upper lid and give me a moment here. done, dear. I'm going to go back in one more time with my light here, if that's okay. I'm sorry if it's bright. As I do the final cleaning, okay? I've got a more standard toothbrush here. 
as I was able to afford clean up most of everything that's going on. But I'm just gonna clean up kind of, you know, whatever flaked off the uh, plaque there that I was removing around the teeth. I'm just more so trying to clean the teeth that you have remaining. Mm -hmm. It seems like from what I can tell that you take decently good care of your teeth otherwise. Mm -hmm. Just a little reckless, huh? So from what I can see with this one, I think we're going to leave it for now. And I will leave it up to your surgeon when they sent, get sent over like the pictures of your teeth and everything. And when you meet with them, uh, you can work with them to decide uh, whether you're going to just remove it or keep it. Mm. Yeah. Well, I would suggest removing it. Personally, just because it's not going to be as functional for hunting in that kind of worn down shape. And as well, you know, it might look weird if you have a whole set of fully formed shaped teeth and then you got one right dead center that's like really small. But it's more of a cosmetic thing for me personally, so it's totally up to you. Finally, this top two teeth here. Last one, and then you are free to give your mouth a break. <laughs> Give me this excess plaque. Turn it around, good. And on the other side here. There's the tooth itself. Looking very good, my dear. Well, I think that is all we're going to do for today. We've, you know, had enough of a rough time as it is. Just double checking here. Yeah, so, like I said, you're definitely going to have to get booked for that surgery. You can do that at the front desk. My associate. They'll try to probably get you in in the next couple of days. Um, or as soon as possible, just because you've lost so many teeth and they want to check out that jaw as well structurally. They might even book you for some x-rays. Let's see. But, so you can rest your mouth now, thank you. So my advice to you, Darren, is to get a lot of rest. Um, again, go for supplements, go for liquids only. Try to really rest that mouth and try not to be doing a lot of chewing, all right? And no hunting for the time being. Mm. Yes, and if there's any emergency where you feel your jaw is like really clenching along the here, it's going to be along the sides, okay? And really what sort of pain radiates down your neck or anything, call either our emergency line here or call 911 if it's very bad, okay? It's unlikely that that's going to happen because I didn't notice any damage to the nerves within your gums or anything, from what I could tell. 
Well, my dear, thanks so much for coming in for this uh, little emergency dentist appointment. I hope you get some rest, you feel better soon, and that we can do all these surgeries and things for you in the future and get you back to your full set of teeth. All right. Well, take care, and hopefully next time I see you, you will not be in such a state. <laughs> all right. Take care. Bye now.